Alliance 1033, page 1033, admission in the 15 Earth and Swanna gunpoint. Interest on 1111. Yeah. Now listen, I don't know why. I always get my my shoulders seem to be a little too, a little too wide sometimes to get through here. I get it. You got to just relax the shoulders, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know, because, you know, otherwise. Boom. Boom, 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 yeah. Some of that, just a little too wide to get through. Oh, God, you even took your shirt off. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, if somebody sees us through the window, they're going to think something different. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, what uh, ended up uh, happening, by the way, let me grab this whiskey because it's important. So, uh, I was, uh, I'm not trying to be uh, couth. <clears throat> I think that's the word. We don't have any verbooth here. That's good because it tastes like shit. Listen, I was trying to go uh, take a leak, and um, you know, like every time I would start, the lid would fall down. And then I would have to pick it back up. Don't ask me why I'd pick it back up, because it has that that slice in the middle, so you can pee right through it. But I was just felt like, you know, I was at home or something. But I'd pick it up, and I'd start to pee, and it'd fall down. Uh, damn it. So I'd stop, pick it up, try to pee, and it'd fall down. And bam, bam, bam. Sound like Emerald's uh, show, you know. I don't know if you know what that is. It's a cook. I, I don't know what that is. Like, you you got, like, you know, you got, like, uh, you know, like those, uh, you know, like, you got those stones falling out of your dick, man? No, 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 no. I don't drink soda. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, rocks in your cocks, right? No, I don't have that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's what I was going on. No, I don't have that problem. No, the uh, lid, the toilet lid was slamming shut on me. Oh, okay. okay. I don't want to. I don't want to pee on the lid because what if somebody needs to go squat in there? You know, it's kind of rude to pee on the toilet seat. Don't you ever? Don't you ever like pick up the toilet seat? Yeah, but, you know, like I pick up the toilet seat, man. Like I don't like peeing on the seat. Well, because if you pee on it, it splashes and gets back on your knees and stuff. So, like, yeah, it's just better to pick it up. Like my mom taught me manners and stuff when I was growing up. So those are, you know, there's habits that you just can't kick. I'm not a damn heathen. I pick up a damn toilet seat. Yeah, me too, man. Like, you know, like, if you ever lived with a woman, she likes to have the seat put down so she doesn't fall in in the middle of the night. I, I had that happen one time when I was staying at Cassandra's house. She, like, went to take a piss, and, you know, and, and, you know, like, her, dipped her ass in the toilet, man. And then they scream out all loud and stuff like they're being murdered. One of the uh, the worst things is that you leave your toothbrush on the counter. Chick walks in and is like, oh, my God, this place is a mess. And you're like, what are you talking about? You got like 400 fucking bottles of makeup everywhere. Yeah, like, uh, you know, like, uh, because they, they put the stuff on their eyes and all that stuff. You, know, you, you crazy, crazy stuff, man, crazy stuff. Yep, looks like Jamal's uh, bathroom got lipsticks everywhere. Oh, yeah, 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 yep, yep, Different yep, yep. reasons, though, different reasons. Yep. Yeah, because he sells the Mary Kay, bro. Yep. He sells all that beauty product and stuff, and he's always gotten, uh, let's just say, uh, uh, some volunteer uh, lady friends of his that are always coming over his house, and he's always uh, giving them these products to uh, test out to make sure that their skin looks good. Pretty smart uh, business if you, uh, you know, if you, if you think about it. Oh, yeah, you get the ladies with the lady product. You get the ladies over with the lady product. It, it, it makes good sense. Made per, perfect yep. absolute. Uh, yep, yep, makes good sense. I remember we went to a strip club that he was trying to buy and stuff. I don't know if he ever finished buying that thing, but uh, he said he was going to have guys there dancing. Yeah. I wonder if you'd sell them those products. I mean, it's, I mean, it's good for your skin, he says, but I don't know. I don't wear that stuff. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, well, there was that there was that green one there, that alien-looking person. I don't think they used it because they pretty pretty aged. Yeah, aliens are real, bro. Like at least that's what I've heard. You know, like the government said they're not, but I'm you know like I heard. I don't know. Well, I mean, we saw one at the club, and it wasn't a it was a person in a costume. Pretty sure. 
So I'm pretty sure uh, you're probably right. It was that it was that director guy that wanted to make all that porn. Yeah, yeah. So he wanted to do like alien porn or whatever, and we were like, "Well, you got to yep. get those are the wrong kind of aliens. I think they meant different kinds, like the border porn or whatever it's called." Oh, okay, okay. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, like the smugglers, like they're uh, yeah, smugglers blues, man. Yep. Like, what are you smuggling in your pants, kind of thing, right? Like we gotta yep, do, yeah, we gotta like do a it, check. It's like Cletus, like smuggling in his, smuggling in his butt. Well, that's more, yeah, yeah. That I don't. Is that called a smuggling or is that called a, uh, you know, just like carrying? I mean, is there a difference? I don't, I don't know. Oh, carry, carrying. I thought you said carry, carrying, and I was like carrying, sharing, bro. Like carrying, carrying is sharing. But you're you're talking about carrying, like he. That's not. I guess it's like smuggling because you're you're carrying it into jail, like you're smuggling it into jail. Well, yeah, smuggling is taking something that that you shouldn't into some place that you shouldn't, right? Isn't that what smuggling yeah. is? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, you know, like maybe it's also like bootlegging, man, like boot bootlegging whiskey, bro. You put whiskey in your boots. No, you know, like it's what the old timers call it, man. Like bootlegging, you you bootleg whiskey into someplace else. I don't uh, know, man. The inventor of NASCAR. Yep, there you go. Yep, I heard all the stories. Watched on Discovery before. No, oh, well, yeah, I've never seen that, but awesome, awesome. You know, like because I haven't had TV in like forty years or something like that. It's been a long time. You should go to a bar. They got TVs and bars. Like I got sport. Oh, I mean, not this place. Yeah, because we we definitely well we have a TV, don't we? Like we got a TV around here somewhere, I think. Yeah, from the forties, I see it up there. Oh yeah, it's back. It's back there. Yep. We don't turn it on. That sucker's black and white, bro. Well, you got one like that, like I did when I was a kid in my room. Oh yeah, yeah. I had one like that. It was like, you know, like a four inch screen, and it was black and white, and and you could only get like with that public broadcasting channel. Yep. Yeah, uh, Sesame Street came on in the morning and stuff. Well, I mean, I'm older than that, but yeah. What do you mean? Like Sesame Street, The Lone Ranger? You no, know, those programs have been on for hundreds of years. I think George Washington watched it when he was a kid. Oh, well, you know, like amazing, bro. Like I didn't even know they had TVs back then. Well, I, I don't know. I read on Facebook that they may have, like aliens gave them to them or something, but I don't know. Oh, that's, I mean, that's plausible, man. Like I think it's actually a true story, bro. Could be. Maybe that's why the dollars are green, because, I mean, that's what color TVs were back then. Like George Washington oh, yeah. is on yep. a green yep. dollar bill kind of thing. The ink is green. Yep. Everything used to be green. That's where St. Patrick's Day came from, the color for it. Or either that or is because of leprechauns, which are also like aliens. But I, uh, the as far as the TV, I, I remember like we had one. It was kind of like that one up there, not yeah. It was bigger than that one over there, but uh, you know we didn't have you. You, I mean, you remember? You probably like the remote control because like pops would call you from your bedroom. Yeah. Yep. Like, yeah. Hey, yeah. You can come, come to change the channel, man. Well, no, they trick you. They're like, hey, come here. You come running out there, bam, 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 with your little feet. You're like, yes, daddy. They're like, change the channel for me because uh, I don't want to get up. It's like four feet from me. Yep, yep, I've been there, done that, man. And they're like, clunk, 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 as you change the channels. Oh, for sure. We had like a pair, you know, what are them called? Like vice grips because the knob broke. So we had to use those on, on the TV. Like some, like we had to like grab it with pliers. No, pliers. Pliers to turn the channel, man. We did not dare break the knob because we would have got our noses broken. And yeah, like asses. I didn't break, I didn't break it, you know. Like the, you, pops broke the knob, and then and, and and then we had to use the pliers when he was like, change the channel, some bitch, and, and and so we changed the channel with the with the pliers, man. Damn. Yeah. No, we uh we had a uh I mean it was, well at first we had one that had like a metal thing so it didn't break, and then we got one of those ones where you put your finger on the button kind of thing, like. You didn't push it in, but you put your finger over it and, like, sense the heat and then change it. But it still only had, like, 12 channels or 13, something like that. Actually, 12, because it didn't have number one. It had number two, three, four. Cause three is where you turn it to play your Atari, your games, video games. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12, 
13 and then it stopped there and like you had to like push something else to go to like the the PBS ones that you're talking about where Sesame Street and all that other stuff was. Yep, yep, yep. The black and white ones were Get Smart and stuff was on them. Three Stooges. Oh, and and, and then you had those ones that you couldn't like. It had like the 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 knob at the bottom. So you, like the as it got older, they had like the the knob for channels one through like thirteen, and then you got you had the knob at the bottom on the channels that you never got because it was like, like that one over there. Yeah, like yeah, 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 that one, man. Yep, you had to put the front the top one on three, or U or something like that, and then you change the bottom yep. ones. And it got like oh, four man. channels. Oh man, it's been it's been a it's been a long time since I had to do that. Yep. Then I had like a computer that it had a like two screws in the back. You had to connect the thing to, and it had a slider. And you, like you only want to play it, you have to yep. put it yep. on like three, and then slide it on, and then connect it to it, and then you could do your deal. And now we got internet. <laughs> A lot has changed in uh, the last um, couple of years there. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Like now they got them remote, you know, like up up in the up in the old clubhouse up there, man. Like they got one of those big ass TVs up there. Like a flat screen. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely flat, man. Like it's flat and wide. Yeah, I got uh, I had a couple of those at my pad. Like I said, I live in the city, so I don't think you've ever been there. But I got some. Uh, very yeah, nice I've been stuff. there. Have you ever been? You ever been upstairs into the into the clubhouse up there? Are you inviting me upstairs? I mean, you know, I'm I'm really not, uh, you know, not not that kind of thing, man. Like oh. if you if you've never been up there, you got to see it, bro. Like there's a bar and everything up there. I think uh, I think I was up there and uh, there was uh, something going on and uh, I felt like a uh, weapon had to be drawn at some point. I don't know uh, what all that was about, but uh, yeah, I think I saw. I think he showed me. Cause you have some sort of music posters and albums and stuff. Oh yeah, like yeah, man. Like we totally got a White Snake poster up there. Yeah, that's what it was, White Snake, and it's like a biker biker uh, hangout or something. Yeah, man. Like you know, like, and that's what I'm saying is, is you know, because you know, like we're we're in in a in a club and, and for bike for bikers brother. and we're in a yep, And I was just saying, like, we could totally use the upstairs because it's already a biker biker hangout. So uh, when it comes to, uh, I think this was, and I think I explained it before, before you guys moved in, I know Barry yep. and I, were when we were scoping out clubhouses, uh, we may have looked at uh, what was uh, what's upstairs, and it's like, because it was abandoned by a biker club or whatever, and then uh, Barry's like, this would be a great place, and I said, Barry, no, it's not, because the cops are always here, and there's always bar fights oh, and that's stuff true. going yep, on. Yep, I remember you talking about that. So we actually uh, purchased... Or it was more of a lease, uh, another place that's uh, in a in a specialized location. It's kind of uh, it's not known to everybody. You know what I mean? Like the cops. I think that uh, that one sheriff guy that we were talking to a couple weeks ago, uh, you know that uh, he got that weird accent. I think he uh, knew where it was, and because he like served a warrant on us or whatever, they didn't find nothing, so they left. But uh, I don't think a lot of cops know where our uh, our clubhouse is, and right now it's boarded up because we didn't um, we uh, haven't had uh, use for it lately. So um, we're gonna yeah, uh, like uh, yep. It, I don't even know where it is, man. No, no, no. But you will, you will. Just uh, we have to. Like right now, it's pretty dirty, and uh, there's some things we need to get rid of that are in there now. So we have been uh, staying clear of it for this. Uh, little while oh yeah like i'm looking forward to it man you know right. like and if we ever need like an uh, you know like an emergency clubhouse like uh, above, above you know like upstairs man awesome yep well then if barry ever gets in town his house is down around the corner a little bit so uh, uh that was our temporary uh, headquarters but uh, everybody knows about that place Oh yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember. You know, like here, here. He, he, we drove past there that one day. That, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where you, uh, you know, welcomed me. W welcomed me into the club. The, yeah, the we brotherhood. Went, yeah, I think we went there to see if he was home. Right? If he'd gotten yep. back yet? Yep. The little satellite dishes that Jamal loves. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me with the satellite dish outside in front of the house. Yep. Gets like HBO and stuff sometimes. It's all like old school. 
Now you, now they have a dish. <laughs> you know, they got those little dishes now that takes place of all those. It's not like the ones out here in the street, you know, on the, uh, oh, yeah, on I know the other side about. of 68 there. And those big dishes, those are, uh, I think they're looking for aliens. I mean, listen, I'm not saying aliens are real, but that time I saw one on top of the 24-7, it looked pretty real to me. As, I'm, as I've been saying, like, I've never seen one. But why would the government put big giant satellite dishes up there if they weren't looking for what doesn't exist? I hear you, man. Like, I hear what yeah. you're saying, bro. Right. The government doesn't just spend money for no reason at all. They're pretty responsible with their money. That's what I read on Facebook. Good evening, sir. How can I help you? Yeah, can I get another one of them damn moonshines? Why are you, you look, down? You look, you look pretty rough, bro. Well, I mean, Cletus pissed on me. I stuck my nose in his ass. Beat the hell out of my truck. Fucking got me damn near arrested by the cops. I mean, if you're ashamed of it, why don't you just keep it to yourself then? Why you got to go blabbing about it to everybody else so that we all know you're ashamed? You should feel uh, down and dirty then. Well, also, this is something like people pay good money for right there. Yeah, I'm not one of those people. I Doesn't feel sound violated. like it. From where I'm standing, it sounds like you're proud of it. Telling everybody your business. Well, he asked how I was doing. I gave him the answer. Well, I just said fine. Or I'm not doing that great. And that's it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's called TMI and... uh you know, right, right there you go. Like, there's the menage of moonshine. It's like when a cop pulls you over and stuff, they're like, how are you doing today? You're like, well, I was just speeding down 68, driving uh, 95 miles an hour because I was in a hurry to get somewhere. I mean, no, that's the, just the something correct, you the, probably the, won't know want to say. You know, the correct answer is lawyer. Well, I mean, if they're pulling you over, you don't got to throw the lawyer out if they want to ask you questions about any crimes. But they just ask you, they pull you over in your car and they're like, what, how are you doing? You don't want to just start spilling your beans. Well, I thought I was in a place full of friends that, you know, could understand my plight. I mean, I, I hear you, bro. Like, I, you know, like, Cletus could be wild, man. Like, y'all know it. Y'all know he's, he's, he's a little he's a little out of control. Yeah. Is this, is, did he, is, he, is his semen van out there? No, last I checked, he was still with the officers down there uh, near Joshua. Oh, like, they, they did some chasing on him. Uh, I think, I, I don't know. All I know is I pulled up on the scene and I had like six officers fucking bum rush me asking if, you know, asking if I was like, because I guess he told them I was going to shoot him and. I mean, you kind of, they came in here uh, looking for uh, information about a fight that may have uh, or may not have phones on me, if you remember. But uh, may have or may not have uh, witnessed some sort of altercation out in the parking lot. And Harvey and I both told him, no way. Uh, we were in here drinking whiskey, talking to some other guy who was trying to, to uh, buy us drinks and stuff, take advantage of us. But, uh, yeah, nobody uh, made any mention of anything like that. So if uh, he accused you of wanting to shoot him or whatever, that's none of that happened here. Uh, we didn't witness it. Mm. Well, either way, them them cops were fit, ready to take me to jail. Over what? Well, I guess threatening to shoot him. I mean, but here you're standing, so they must not have had proof. Nope. I talked my way out of it. I mean, I even told him, like, it just, I, I, shit, I told him the story, and I was like, yep, he pissed on me, stuck my nose uh, in his ass, and said it was his, and... I told him, well, uh, you know, you, you do that, I'm going I'm to I'm shoot you in the foot. My nose is yours. Your foot's going to be mine. And uh, I they kind of laughed about it and let me go. I thought the rule was your butt has to touch it for it to be yours. You're going to shoot him and you're claiming that? That doesn't sound uh, like the right kind of game that they're playing. No, no, no. But, you know, you you stick your ass on my nose and, well, you you're likely to get shot. Yeah, you stick your ass uh, anywhere near my nose. Uh, yeah, your survival rate is going to be diminished. See, you understand, right? Well, I'm not shooting him in the foot, though. I'd be shooting him in the nose. 
Well, I mean, that's just going to kill him. That's not my problem, is it? Well, you I kept don't your ass to yourself. I didn't want to kill him. I just wanted to teach him a lesson. Well, I thought you wanted. I thought you were running around here saying you wanted to kill him. Is what you said. Not that no, my I... phone. Not that my phone ever heard anything like that. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Say, I didn't say I was going to kill him. I just said I, I, uh, I, I was going to like you know, shoot him. Right. Yeah, it's a good thing we're just acting this out. Yeah. Yep. Good yep, thing yep, nothing yep. came of it. Yep. Yep. You know, I need, speaking of I, coming, I need to go to the. I need to go to the bathroom, and it, it, absolutely no relation to that. Like it just sounded ter- terrible, bro. Yeah. Careful that. Uh, don't let that seat uh, fall on your junk. Yeah, I, I will definitely not. You for sure, bro. I'm gonna use the. I'm gonna use the urinal. All right. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, yeah, there is one in there. I should have used that. Like you got to careful when you their bathroom, the toilet seat falls down, so you got to get it out of the way in time. Oh yeah. I, have you ever had one of those issues where you sit down on the toilet to take a a deuce and like, you, you, you know, you got your wiener in the toilet uh, in in the seat there, and 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 then you go to stand up and like your butt cheeks are stuck to the kind of to the seat, so it comes up with you and. Then you come back down and you, and, and you clap your wiener between the toilet and the toilet seat. Uh, sometimes my ball gets stuck there, but uh, usually what happens is I'm sitting there on the toilet seat uh, and I'm looking at the internet on my phone, but my uh, my elbows are in my kneecaps kind of thing, you know, right above the kneecaps. So when I go oh, to yeah. stand up, my feet had fallen asleep. And I didn't know it. And then I uh, stumble around a little bit just trying to get my pants up because my feet are asleep. Oh, yeah, I've had that happen too. Which is how my nuts get stuck, like a, you know, like a squirrel's nuts, like when they hop a fence, like get stuck on the toilet seat and stuff. Oh yeah, I, I, I've had that happen. It's not, uh, it's not a. I don't recommend it to anybody. No, 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 no. It's uh, it's quite unfortunate. Yeah, well, I try not to go shit in anybody else. You know, like, like places like this. Anyways, I try to wait till I get home. Yeah, I don't blame you. How you doing, feller? Guess he had to take a piss, but I don't know why he didn't take his helmet off. I don't know. Maybe he's one of those special people that needs to wear a helmet 24-7. Maybe he wants to uh, keep his uh, identity unknown so that he can rob the place. (laughs) He picked a bad place to rob. I'm telling you that. I mean, I I do believe Harvey's got that, that shotgun behind the bar. Well, that that's not going to help anybody because you're on that side and I'm on this side as well. Ah, uh, we don't need that. That's right. Oh my God! I hear it sounds like rain hitting the uh, pitter patter rain, doesn't it? Oh yeah, pretty neat. I think I think there's a homeless guy in the bathroom. Uh, that's. Was he did he have a like a uh, like a blonde mullet, kind of brownish blonde? It was, it was gray. Oh, uh, gray. Oh, that'd be Harvey. Yeah, it's Harvey. He's the owner. He's taking a shit probably. That guy right there. Yellow shorty shorts. Yep, this guy. That's yeah, the owner. That's the owner. Yeah, what's up, bro? You got moonshine here? Oh, for sure, man. Like we we got we got the Sandy Shores moonshine. How much you got? I mean, what do you mean? How much I got? You got a jar? Yeah, like we we have actually we have four different varieties, bro. We've got plain, and we got uh, watermelon and lemon and strawberry. Let's do strawberry. How much is that? Well, if you just want a glass, that's going to be four dollars. If you if you want more than that, you know, like a whole jar is like twenty five. I'll take two glasses. All right, all right. Two. It'll be eight bucks. Oh wait, okay, you know you got your helmet on, so I'm totally gonna to have to see your ID.
You see appreciate it? that. Appreciate that. And when you said strawberry? Yes, sir. Oh, you mind me asking if there's any particular reason you still got your helmet on? And he just took it off and he handed him his ID. It's on tight. Oh, he just lifted. Okay. You know, I I, I, I might have a hacksaw on right, the truck. There, there if, you are. Uh, That'll be $8. Cut it off. You'll cut his neck off, though. Hey, you cut it from the top. Appreciate that. All right. Thank you. Cha-ching. That's a two-go. Ding, ding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I must have uh, looked away I, when he, I heard him ask for ID because he had his helmet on and he showed him and I thought he showed him his face, so. I heard that. Yep. Anybody else hear that? Yep. Is it raining outside? It was. I heard uh, the pitter pat of rain falling. No, I wonder what that was. It hasn't rained here in like ages. It's probably thunder then. Could have been thunder, you know what I mean? Like, cuh Sounded like uh sounded like an explosion or something. Yeah, it was like a you know, explosion. Probably thunder. I think the flywheels exploded again. Well, you know, like he's gonna be pissed, but it is what it is. It, it does happen. Yep. It it's, seems like the flywheels have been exploding a lot lately. That's because he hasn't been around and uh I know. Yeah, she's not keeping the shop in shape there, and you know if uh, not ship shop shape. Right. If you ever uh, in her general vicinity, though, just don't look her in the eyes. She'll eat your face. She's a werewolf. Yeah, she's a werewolf. Yep. Who, who's this Eda you're talking about? Don't conjure her up right now. Just yep. You can't say her name three times. She'll appear right here behind you, and then and she'll that just was, rip that your was face like off. Two, two, two ish. I think. Yep. Yeah. Just be be careful, man. Yep. I don't believe you. Don't do it. I'm going to do it. All right. Well, why don't you go outside and do it? That way uh, we survive the incident. That's right. All right. You'll have like a, you know, like a two and a half head if she rips your head off and eats your brains. I don't think he understands that it may not happen instantly, but it will definitely happen soon because uh, there's sometimes a delay. She might be out feeding right now. Eat up. Eat up. I wonder if he's coming, if he's going to survive it, if he's coming back in or not. Look, he's not back. Yep, he's dead. Well. Oh, he, there he is. Oh, he made it in. Like, you'll wow. Die, you'll die in your sleep it, tonight, I'm telling you. It, it's raining out there. He'd be like, well, I'm dying well. in your arms tonight. Must have been something I said. Must have Wait, been I a think game. I, I, yeah, it was different, different, different thing. Yeah, it could be the rain. Although I don't, I mean, it never rains out here, you know, so I don't ever remember, you know, if it rained and seeing somebody's face getting eaten off. Usually happens in the sunlight or the darkness. I think darkness is their hunting time. So I wonder where the hell Cletus is. Don't know. You said you snitched him out with the cops, right? Or not? Say again. Did you uh, snitch him out with the cops, or did the did the cops pull him over? Well, I don't remember the whole thing happened well, there. Well, no, I, I, he snitched me out to the cops. Like they they said that you know he 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 mentioned that I was gonna I was gonna shoot him. Was he in handcuffs when uh, the cop? You said the cops let you go. Is he in handcuffs? The cops let you go? I didn't I didn't get to see. They told me to go go over yonder on the other side of the tracks while they they dealt with me and him separately. Oh, uh, if they were dealing with him, he's probably in jail. Yeah, he probably got himself yep, put in jail. Totally, totally. You're not wrong. 
I, they asked me what I wanted to see done, and I was like, well, I don't want to see him go to jail. I mean, just have him fix my truck. Is, is that when you left? You, like, you left so you couldn't see him to go to jail? Well, I left because they told me to leave. 